Hey guys, this is Mike from HanFam4. That's the name of my eBay store. Um, just wanted to bring you another sales update video for eBay and Amazon. Um, and if you're watching this right now, thank you very much for taking the time. This will be a super quick video. Um, sales were not that great. Um, however, I had did have a, a few big um, sales um, that have really helped out and kind of bridged the gap. So let's just get right into it. Um, I will be jumping back and forth between uh, the actual sales page and the item just to show you if I took a best offer or not and to remind myself as well. So um, first thing is this um, Jansport backpack. Um, I did take a best offer of $20. Um, they paid shipping. Um, I paid a dollar for it. Um, I always pick up this brand. Um, some some backpacks, um, especially the vintage ones made in the USA <clears throat> with the leather or suede bottom are the ones that sell for a little bit more, 30 to $50 sometimes. But um, if they're in good shape and they're a couple dollars, um, I'll always pick them up. Uh, next item is um, picked up a bunch of Jane Barnes men's designer shirts. Um, as you can see, this one's really cool. Um, has kind of like a rainbow pattern with a texture to it. And then it had this sort of Mandarin style collar. Not my style. Um, a little bit too big for me, so I decided to sell it. I think I did take a bit yeah I took a best offer of 1650 they paid shipping um, picked it up for a dollar and if you've seen past videos you know about the keen cards I have cases of um, this one was pretty this one is pretty popular I've sold 56 of these um, uh, this time around and um, just consistently selling them for 795 um, there's another um, design that I'm selling for $9.95 plus they pay shipping so little bread and butter item and then um, from my company that I work um, I ask the person who who is in charge of assigning cell phones to save the trade-ins for me or the broken ones and I usually pay him what the trade-in value is going to be in this case um, I bought some old iPhone 5S's and paid $30 for them and this one sold for $105 so not too bad for a $30 investment um, this is a book that I got as part of a lot I bought like five boxes of books um, for $7 total for the entire lot and this was so this, this I probably paid a few cents for this and um, it's just an old Bridgestone bicycle catalog from 1993. Um, it was in really good shape. Had some really nice illustrations. Um, Bridgestone's one of those sort of cult following brands. And looks like I took a best offer of $22 and was able to ship it media mail, which only cost me a couple, or cost the customer a couple more dollars. So that was great. Um, another iPhone and what did I get for this one I took a best offer of hundred and seven dollars this was another one I paid um, I think I paid twenty five dollars for these um, five S's each they were in perfect working condition just you know upgrade people the company upgrades um, several times um, so that was pretty good and then um, this was one I got for free and um, the reason why is because the screen is shattered as you can see but um, rather than paying to get it fixed and then trying to sell it I just decided to list it and I sold it for seventy two dollars so can't complain about a free item um, selling for seventy two dollars and then here's that other keen card design. This one is the one that sell, sells for $9.95. As you can see, I've sold a ton of these, um, 80 um, so far. And this is another free item. <laughs> this is the second set of these colored glass balls that I've sold. Um, they're really cool. 
um, they were actually um, my company was throwing them away um, they are I believe four inches in diameter maybe three inches no four inches in diameter they have a sort of a flat bottom to them um, but you know they're cool kind of cool they got bubbles inside of them and um, they were actually um, representing um, Google as a client um, the you know the four primary colors and um, we were moving from one building to another and they were kind of throwing a bunch of stuff away and this is the second set I've sold and we got full full asking price of one thirty nine ninety five and the other one sold for the same exact price as well uh, and that was probably like middle of last year and they paid shipping so as you can see I got a bunch of free items that you know I was patient with and you know they were listed for quite some time but they did finally sell and then this is just a pair of men's um, Tom's shoes um, gray slip-on and I got full asking price of thirty-four ninety-five or 97 um, plus they paid shipping and um, I picked up four pairs of these Toms and I paid a total of $35 for the for all four pairs and um, so this paid for this one sale paid for um, all four pairs so the the other three will just be um, gravy uh, let's see here this is just a vintage uh, wool sweater cardigan sweater um, size medium, really nice, um, uh, pure virgin wool made in Canada, had some really cool buttons as you can see. Um, really good shape, I paid a dollar for it at a garage sale and it sold for full asking price of $29.97 plus they paid shipping. And then I guess the theme of this, this uh, video is free because um, another thing that at work that they um, so I guess the theme of this video is free items that I'm selling on eBay because this is another um, set of uh, boxes empty boxes for Mac mini um, computers that I got from work um, they save all the Apple product boxes for me um, rather than throwing them away I put them on eBay and sell them and these two sold for fourteen dollars so that's just free money sitting there that it took me like five minutes to list on eBay so can never uh, you know there's money to be made everywhere and this was a kind of a cool Doctor Who t-shirt that I've had on for such a long time. It had these cool little cartoon representations of the characters in Doctor Who. I thought it would sell right away, but it took like a year and I kept lowering the price and finally it sold for 10 bucks plus shipping. So just never know. You know, you think something's going to be popular and it's going to sell and um, sometimes it's not. So <laughs> I thought it was cool. Uh, and then lastly, um, I only had one Amazon sale this time through Merch Ful Fulfilled, um, and um, so this was just a puzzle, and it sold for twenty nine ninety five plus shipping. So we paid like one to two dollars for it. I believe we paid two dollars for it. And um, if you look at the listing. Um, the listing, you know, everybody's on the same listing, and this is kind of the buy box price, twenty four ninety nine, or yeah, twenty four ninety nine, but we sold ours for twenty nine ninety five, so um, we were able to sell it for a little bit more. Um, merch fulfilled, so that's weird how that happens. You know, the lower price, the higher price. We were the buy box at the time, so the higher price um, was able to sell, and then. Also, Prime, when you buy it on Prime, you get free shipping. So I'm not sure why somebody bought ours over the free shipping one that was lower priced. But they did, and I'm not going to complain about it. So anyways, uh, like I said, it's a short video this time around, guys. Um, thanks again for taking the time to watch. Um, if you could please um, hit the like button or the thumbs up button. 
and um, consider subscribing. Um, it'll really help me out and get my videos um, you know, in front of a lot of other people's eyes. And if you have any questions for me, I'd appreciate it. And I um, do my best to answer all the questions. And uh, I appreciate your um, feedback as well as uh, your time. So thanks, thanks again, guys. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.